think every parent has experienced them and we sit and we ask how do we stop it because I can't do this every single time my child plays a game. So I'm going to give you three strategies that you can use to minimize the techno tantrum. A piece of advice, the strategies that I give you, do them in order. Number one, set a limit before your kids start playing. We need to build expectations in kids' minds as to how long they're going to be playing for. Because if you think, oh, I'm just going to give them an hour, but you don't make it clear to them, they will think, oh, I'm going to get six hours now. And of course, they're going to be disappointed when you come in after an hour and they have to get off. Set the expectation very clearly up front, your kids will be better for it. Number two, and this is one of the most important ones, is give warning to stop the morning. What does that actually mean? What we find in games is that our brain becomes goal orientated. So whether we're trying to work on getting to defeat the other team or we're trying to get points to earn our loot box or our new skin, there's usually something in the game that's making us very goal orientated. And kids can become completely immersed in, with their attention in what's happening in the game. So if we come in to see them and tell them to get off straight away, that goal is interrupted and our brain doesn't do so well when we're interrupted with something we have so much attention for. The other thing is, is that these days, most games are done over time intervals. So if we come in and tell our kids to get off, we could be interrupting something that they actually can't stop playing. So the strategy is to give warning instead of just getting them off. Lastly, and this will do you wonders, is have a transition activity. Because there's so much activity going on in our child's brain after they play games, it's a good idea to channel that into something to decrease the tantrum. So for example, that's a great time to go outside and go and play football or take the dog for a walk. If we can provide our kids an activity that also uses some of that elevated neurological activity, then that's going to help us kind of burn some of it off. So, to recap, before your child starts to play a game, here are the three things that you need to do. One, set a limit before they start playing. Number two, give warning to stop the morning. And then number three, have your transition activity ready to go, get straight into it. They're the three things that you can do to decrease the digital tantrum for your kids.